Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, as y'all know, we have this great snowstorm headed to Birmingham. And um, yeah, our office is on 280 and I just refused to get stuck on 280, so I decided to come home. But either way, um, still wanted to bring you guys our video. I know a lot of you do watch and a lot of you do appreciate it, so we want to remain consistent. So either way, Ashley talked last week on the importance of saving money to purchase a home. One of the most important topics, I think, before anybody even talks about looking at a house, we need to have some money in the bank. So that's why we started there. Today, I'm kind of uh, just going to pick up from where she left off and talk about a few steps that we have to follow. Now, before I say that, I don't know if all of y'all are watching my videos, though, because a lot of the questions I get, I already have talked about. But either way, it's cool. I want to make sure I focus and answer the questions that I'm usually getting. And a lot of my questions are pertaining to first time buyers. So that's why we keep, you know, kind of dwelling on these same topics. But either way, here we go. First thing you need to talk about is your credit. Credit score needs to be a safe 640. Um, there are several banks that will go 620. I even have some that go 580. But in order for this deal to go as smooth as possible, let's get the credit as high as we can get it. Um, second thing, we need to talk about saving money. There's money outside of the down payment that you will need. Um, roughly about $1,800 between inspection, earnest money, and appraisal. So that's money that you're going to have to spend. And that's regardless of what lender or what realtor you use. Um, but outside of that, if you do a normal FHA loan, your down payment is going to be 3.5% of the loan amount, which means whatever amount you take out, just calculate 3.5%, boom, that's your down payment. Uh, moving forward after that, uh, once you get that approval amount, approval, I'm sorry, that's when you and your actual realtor can start looking. There's really no point looking at houses prior to being approved because we don't know what you can buy. So for example, say if I show you a house that's 150,000 and you kind of say, okay, I like 150,000, but then you're approved for 200,000. Now everything that I've shown you, you're probably not gonna wanna buy because now that you know that you can buy more, you're gonna wanna start over and look at $200,000 houses. So first thing is approval. Second thing, then we go look at houses. Once you get out there and start looking at houses, please understand there's no such thing as a perfect house. We're going to have to do some compromising with that. Not settling, but compromising. But either way, that's the next step. After we find the house, that's when we will do what's called making an offer. Um, please understand that making an offer is not just the price. We're going to be negotiating about five other things, um, such as closing costs, uh, home warranty, uh, termite bond, survey, uh, appliances. I mean, you can ask for anything. I've had one person who um, saw that we had a four-wheeler in the garage and they actually asked for our four-wheeler. And the crazy thing about it was my seller was going to do it if he hadn't already sold it. So please understand when you're negotiating a, an offer, it's a lot of things involved with that. Uh, once you get your offer accepted, now you're what's called under contract. So I'm pretty sure you see all the time I post, hey, another house under contract. Doesn't mean the house is sold, just means that the buyer and seller have agreed on terms and they're moving forward uh, with the purchase. Um, under contract typically takes 30 to 45 days, although I do have some lenders that can do it faster. Um, great example, my man, Stephen Washington, um, we just got an offer accepted. We was in a multi-offer situation and the main deciding factor was he said he can close it in 15 days. Um, so make sure you're using lenders that, you know, have a few options because that could be the difference between getting your offer accepted or not. Um, after that, uh, going through the underwriting process is going to be some kind of stressful, sometimes painful. However, you got to do it. So it is what it is. Um, once the underwriter gives you the final approval, that means to clear the close. That's when we will uh, go to the closing table. If you have any money that is due, it will be uh, needed to be brought or wired to the closing attorney that day. And that's when, you know, we post our pictures and, you know, do selfies and Instagram videos and pop champagne if you're closing with me. I like to have fun. But either way, that's it, man. So I just gave y'all about the four minute, four minute rundown from getting approved to the closing table. So either way, call me if you have any questions, 205-253-8017. And as always, it's your dream. Let us make it come true. Peace. Y'all stay warm.